Hello there and welcome to a new subnautica video and we are, I completely forgot, but we are very thirsty. Luckily we got some water on us, which I managed to make just before I saved. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's, let's make some more water actually because may as well. Anyway, so today I've really got no idea what we're going to do. Um, but we don't really have as much tit- do we have any tit- we don't have any titanium. So I guess that we're gonna start off by going and getting a lot of titanium. So you know when I said I'm gonna go get a whole bunch of titanium. So um, I was I was kind of true to my word. And if I if I show you my inventory in a sec, well it's not really a sec for me, but it's a sec for you guys. We've got quite a lot of titanium. Can't talk titanium. In fact, so much that I might have to actually lots of new stuff. I might actually have to make a separate locker just for titanium. And I think that I will put that locker I have to move everything along by one locker. And it's gonna go exactly like that. And I need quartz. So if we grab some one piece of quartz. Oh, I can't because my inventory is full. But if we grab one piece of quartz from there and then what we can do is we can put a, a lot of metal salvage in here and instead grab all of this and once we have all this we can then move it to this locker where there's all that um, so we're gonna put all this in here And instead, what we're going to take is all this. And we're going to move all these along to over here. And now, we have a locker ded dedicated entirely to titanium. And we're going to have a lot of it, so I'm going to craft all of it up, and see you there. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So, um... Wow. We have quite a bit of titanium. And do you know what I realized? I was thinking, there's it's kind of hard to find metal salvage sometimes. Why don't we build a scanner room? And then I realized, we don't have the scanner room. So I think that what we're going to do now, is we're going to get in our Seamoth, which is right here. Welcome and we're going to go off into the grassy plateau, which I think is over in this direction. And we're going to find the rest of the scanner room fragments and then build said scanner room. Turns out we can't go in this direction because there is radiation don't know how all the fish can survive it, although I guess they can't, because uh, as soon as you enter the aurora, it says, in the next 24 hours, uh, bad stuff will happen. So, um, wow, I never realised how damaged my Seamoth was. Did I just replace my scanner? Yes, I did. That's kind of important. Anyway, I'm going to move the scanner to the habitat builder because we don't really need that right now. Um, probably could grab a bunch of copper, but it's going to be a lot easier if we grab a knife. And this is the high skill version of catching fish. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah, oh, there it is. Has it there it is. Come here. There we go. Cooked peeper. Nom. Not enough. Come on, give me more. I'm not gonna eat the hoverfish. They're, they're, they're just too cute. But where are the peepers? There are some over here. Come on. Please. 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 Yes. There we go food. Nom nom. Would you look at this? It's a wreck. So, um, we are these the Reginalds? No, those are the eye eyes. I can never remember which fish is the Reginald. And I, and it always annoys me for some reason. So I'm gonna repair this to open the door. Open door. Open the door. Uh, over here we got Sea Glide. Nothing too good in any of these boxes I don't think so we're gonna go in here 
And in here there is nothing. Ser seriously? There is actually there is not a single scannable thing. Not a single one in this wreck. I mean I guess that it is a small um, wreck from the kelp forest, group point forest, so probably can't expect too much from it, although I'm pretty sure that in this wreck there's another entrance and another kind of place you can go. There might not be, but I'm pretty un unsure now because, oh, in here, there's a stalker, nope. Seriously? I, mean, I guess we may as well go into the caves while we're here. Although, I don't really need anything from the caves right now, and I'm definitely... A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, <sighs> followed by eventual asphyxiation. Well, we're gonna go home for now, because we just got a radio message, and I'm really hoping that this is the one I think it is, because if it is, then um, it's we can c finally go and explore the aurora. Although I don't really want to have to make a propulsion cannon, so I guess I'm gonna have to learn the tips and tricks to do the aurora parkour. I can never do it. It's really annoying. So we've entered the base, and I'm thinking, please. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little no. transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there: "There's no bad without the good." No good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Hmm, I forgot how far into the game we were. It's gonna be ages before we can explore the Aurora. We haven't even had the Sunbeam yet. Uh, well, I cannot at all remember where the nearest, what's it called is, where the nearest grassy plateau is. So, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Or not, because radiation. Um, although, I think that we have just found some safe shallows again. But I'm pretty sure that over here, right in, right here is, yes, no, are oh, you joking, that's really annoying, I'm going and I'm hoping, and I'm hoping that there's no radiation, and I think that all my hopes have come true, and we've got a wreck too, and, ah, oh, never mind, that's actually, that's actually not one of the entrances, okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna have to go into the crab snake place though eventually. I hate the crab snake place, it's very not fun. Ah, uh, no. Well, I can probably take the batteries out of this and put them into here. So, to there. And you can have the 10% one. There we go. And we've got a bioreactor fragment. I can't remember if I've scanned this yet or not. Have I got it? And now we have it. Because before that I guess I didn't. So let's see if we can find any scanner room fragments there. There looks like there should be one over here. But no, go away. I don't like those. I hate the tiger plants. Anyway, we have... Uh, away into the wreck and we've got <gasps> yes a battery charges fragment which is good because we've got batteries that are almost running out but I guess that usually I'm pretty good at saving my batteries integrating new PDA data so we're gonna cut through this door quickly and the door has been cut through open supply create more water which we should probably drink. Nom nom. Not nom nom, that's that's for food. Food is not nom nom. Did that that just took us right back over there. That was great. And I'm pretty sure we've already got that. So we can 30 seconds. 
I don't know why, but for some reason, every time I play Subnautica, all the light always messes up. All the light's always messed up. I don't- I haven't seen anyone else have messed up light, ever, I don't think. But for some reason, a lot of the, um, oh, not oxygen. For some reason, a lot of the, uh, life pods and stuff, and of some of the other stuff, have all kinds of messed up, um, lighting. What was that? Can that? Can the seamoth beep? And oh look at no no wait no that's the bioreactor. I thought that that there was the scanner room but no it's the bioreactor. So I'm gonna go around see if I can find any bi scanner room fragments and if I can then yay I guess. Oh this is great. Look at this. We have found the scanner room fragment. Ah, oh, that's so... Wait, what? Wait, what was that? Was that one of the biters? Or was that a... That was one of you. No. Oh, that's so annoying. I thought that we had all of the things. Is it chasing me or is it chasing some other fish? I hope it's chasing you around. That's... Oh no, please, please, no. So if I see, if I see the, the final scanner room fragment, I'm just going for it. I don't care if I get radiation sickness, but come on. You've got to be joking. Where is it? Where are they? That does not make me happy. Come on, there's got to be one more. Hang on, how close to the aurora are we? Because I have a feeling that that's the back of the aurora terrain. I have a- that is the, Yeah, wow, we are in the dangerous areas. And that's a surface reef back. Those are kind of hard to find. But come on. How is this possible? I've gone all the way to probably one of the most dangerous areas in the entire game. Just to find a scanner room. I mean, it's just. How? How? There's the wrong biome. I need to keep on. Oh, there the. Oh, no, not you guys. No, go away. I hate those. They deal 15 damage per bite. So, um, yeah. Let's, I, don't, I think I'm going to have to leave because I don't think I'm going to find any more scanner room fragments over here. Unless... Nope. Oh. Didn't even realise this, but um, this is the Grand Reef. So this is... Yeah, wow, this is... That's the Grand Reef. That is definitely the Grand Reef, not sure what else I can say to be honest. Uh, the Grand Reef, wow, it's very, very, very grand and very reefy. And we've got another grassy plateau, hopefully we're going to be able to find a scanner room. Um, please, please, give us a scanner room fragment, please. We found another wreck, so I'm going to be cutting through this sealed door. And hopefully... We're going to be able to find the scanner room, because if we don't, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. So we're going to quickly cut through this door, it's just going to just go all the way around. And we are going to get it from the top. Okay. Mobile vehicle bay, another door, propulsion cannon fragment. I don't know if we've got the propulsion cannon. Now we do. Laser cutter. Um, let's open this door. Battery charge, we've already got those. Uh, disinfected water. Um, oh, come on. Well, command chair, I guess I'll take that. And there's what we've already got. Come on, please. Please give me something I haven't got yet. For example, I don't know, maybe something that begins with s and scan things and it is a room please i'm asking very nicely 
please, just one fragment, just a single fragment, just one. Please, just one. Shouldn't be this difficult. Why? Come on, seriously. Well, I guess that there's another door that we can cut through, so I've still got that to check, although I don't think it's gonna be in there. So I'm gonna quickly cut through this door. And, um, we... We have just run out of power in the laser cutter. So, I guess I may as well drink that. And I guess that we're gonna have to swap out in this. Just, just, just for a little bit. And I'm gonna quickly cut through this and then go to the Seamoth for a second just to get some oxygen. There we go, Seamoth, come here. There are sand sharks chasing me everywhere I go. Battery charger, there is a sand shark. Lightweight, high capacity tank. Do we already have that? No, we do not. Laser cutter fragment. These are. Why are these always so difficult for me to find? They're literally everywhere. I was I was um, earlier when I was looking for more scanner room fragments, which there are none over here. I found three um, laser cutter fragments in the exact same place, like all facing towards each other and everything. You could have stood in one spot and got the laser cutter. I don't know how it's always so difficult for me to get if they, if it's that common for some reason. Even though it shouldn't be. Do you know what should be quite common though? That usually I can get very easily. The scanner room. Do you know what's not being very common right now and I can't get very easily? The scanner room. Which is really annoying. I'm actually really annoyed by that. Come on, please. Where is it? Oh, you will not believe what I just saw. Oh, yes, I've seen it. I. Yes. Yes. My child. Oh, no. No, please. No. Take that away. And reload this with. Not with that one. With the one with 20 seconds. Oh, yes! Thank you. Ah. Oh, my child. And, um. Oh, there's a vending machine, which is interesting, so we got that now, and there's another scanner and fragment, there's- How is it that every time I get something, I find that if I just had went here in the first place, I'd have gotten one, two, three scanner room fragments all at once, and oh, would you look at that, there's a wreck, but I remember that. <gasps> Life pod 17. Water filtration suit equipped and capturing body moisture. To chemically neutralize residual odors, press the activation button in the next three seconds. You have chosen not to activate chemical taste neutralization. Mm. Thank you and have a nice day. That's annoying. So we've now got the water filtration suit, which I guess I can put on because we don't really need the radiation suit right now and we've not got any other suits. Have I been to this one before? I don't know if I have or haven't. But seeing as there's nothing around it, I think I have. And, oh no. Okay. Well, that's... That is great fun. We've found the entrance to the crab snake place. Well, I guess I know where we're going. So, we are entering the crab snake area which i really hate because oh Warning, oh no 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 Hull damage imminent. as i was saying which i really hate because it is exactly the right depth so that the sea moth cannot explore it when you've not got it upgraded at all and i've got to be really careful because those things because i don't have any med kits on me how smart am I to not take a single med kit? Um, the conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Spoiler alert, this is not the artificial structure they're talking about. 
and when in this these caves you're going to want to stay very close to the ground so that you don't get attacked by those things that you just saw come out of that mushroom and I'm pretty sure there's one in this mushroom right now basically if you don't know don't go near the top of the mushroom because just in case if you see one come out the mushroom then you know there's none in the mushroom and then you can go in the mushroom but if you don't know don't go in the mushroom the jelly shroom sorry it's not mushroom anyway I'm gonna be exploring all around here and hopefully finding that thing yes I think that this is the right thing and then going straight back to the no way oh yeah that's it that's that's a battery anyway back to the seamoth time and it is over there if you don't know what I'm talking about I need to head if I head east then that should do it so this is interesting that right there, this floating piece of... Never mind, that's just random rock. Oh no, hang on. That's really far away, we might not make it. And I think that now we've got one of the things aggroed on us. Right, start counting. Three, four, five, six. Well, first death, here we go. Well done me first death so if you want to know what it looks like when you die uh, this is how it looks um, so uh, yeah this is a just in case bilbo tree in case we accidentally run out of samples so now I'm gonna run all the way back to the sea moth which is uh, oh it's quite far away yay about 200 meters this way and then 200 meters straight down so let's run over there and then hopefully we will be able to uh, explore that base you don't understand how annoyed I am by this though the first death that we have is a drowning death the first death is a drowning death I can't believe this that's actually so embarrassing I've got I probably I think not 500 hours but getting close to it by now in this game and the first death I have is a drowning death I'm actually I can't believe this at least you keep all your tools and you only lose all the resources which you can actually go pick them up and it looks like we've been lucky because we died very close to the sea moth we died literally right next to it so, um, yay. Anyway, we're gonna grab the sea moth and we're gonna go straight east. And we're gonna go find the, um, better entrance to go and explore the base. So I'm right about where I think it should be. And that means that right around here somewhere, there should be an entrance. I'm pretty sure, yeah, here's one. And I'm pretty sure this is the right one. So if I go and explore this, it should put us down right on the base. And if I am correct, then hang on a minute. Is this the exact same one we were just at, or is this a different one? Or is this the right one? No. It is, it's the... This is exactly where we were. How? How does that happen? So I've got good news and bad news. Good news is, I managed to find the entrance that we need. Bad news is, this. Hopefully we don't die, but I think that if we make it into the cave, we'll be safe. So, um... Yeah, we, are we... Is it's not going away? Why is it? What did I just? Oh, water. Right here yeah, because I have the water filtration suit on. Why isn't the radiation going away? 
Okay, there it is. Okay, good. good. Anyway, uh, base, in case you didn't notice, we were right. We were on that platform over there. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna explore all this. Sir, and. There is always hang on, a pecking hang on. Order. Wait, wait. So, we're still missing the Garcy voice log number three. I don't know if it's in here. This might be it right here, actually. If I go and. I thought it might get claustrophobic living. Uh, okay, yeah. But I thought it might get claustrophobic one. living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of the habitat compartment. Certainly, acquired. it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. But the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy to have proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, not again. How? Twice? In one episode? And that is not very fun. That's actually quite annoying, in fact. That's actually very. Do we have the emergency escape system thing? Can I? There's one that's nine. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. So, um, there's log number one. I don't know if we have log number two, although it's, um, uh, nope. I haven't listened to this one. We're missing number three. I don't know where I can find number three, but I'm gonna find it, definitely. And I'm also going to have to avoid the radiation because that's annoying as always i don't know why i said radiation with a french accent that's just weird but hey look we got the stuff we dropped magnetite magnetite i don't know where the third one went uh strange anyway uh the rest of the base is what we need to go and explore and there's a crab snake in the, not in the mushroom which is good because it means if we wanted to, we could go in the mushroom, but we don't really want to go in the mushroom, so we're not going to. It, uh, moon pool fragment. I'm pretty sure we already have the moon pool, but I'm going to scan it anyway. Yeah, we already have it. So I'm going to go back into here without... Yes. Without hitting... Um, yeah, yes. And I don't think I left anything behind in here. Yep. Nothing left. Which means I can go up this ladder. And we have found Bart Log number. Integrating new PDA data. I'm gonna have to search up where to find the Degasi voice log number three. Oh no. Oh we are dead. I think I'm dead. I have not dead. That is good. But I think I have dead, actually. I think we're gonna drown. This is great. Man, I love drowning. I swear if we, die, if we drown for the third time in one episode, I will be actually properly annoyed. Come on, please, please, please. Seamoth, 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 Seamoth. 
No, we're not mate. Although, although, surface, 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 please, 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 please. No! I heard it! We were at the surface! I heard the sounds! I heard the sounds of the surface. Anyway, let's 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 listen to Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. So, um, yeah, we heard Welcome that. Aboard, We've got number three, yep. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, Finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. So, um, it seems like Bart was the final survivor. Um, we will find out later what happened to the other two. Which, that's actually a really cool story, and if you've seen, um, Below Zero, then, well, I'm not gonna say anything. Um, we actually, hang on, do we have the modification station? We, uh, <laughs> Thermo Blade, ingredients unknown, hmm, yeah, but do we though? Do we have the modification station? We don't have the stasis rifle, which is kind of worrying because that's one of the things that I would really like to, uh, to play with. And nope, we do not have the 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 thing, but we do have a battery charger unlocked. So that's what I'm definitely going to build, and I'm probably going to build quite a few of them. Although I don't think I really can, unless right there and right there. Wiring kit, copper ore, and titanium. All of those we've got plenty of. So I'm gonna drop off. One, two, three, four. Copper ore, we need more copper. No, do you know what we should build first? Do you know what we should definitely build first? The scanner room, which. Oh, you've got to be joking. It takes another piece of copper. <laughs> please, please, just give me an easy one. Give me an easy one to find, please. Just right in here, just right in here, please, please, please. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna take that. Interesting, I think that that was damaged by um, the, the the exploding fish, the boom boom fish. 
And I think that what happened is that when it got damaged, it fell. Because that's what happens when things get damaged, they, they fall. Um, scanner room, I think I'm gonna have to put it over there. And I think that this is the right place. Which if I build this, which, ah, oh, that's so good. Five, one, build. And we got the camera drones. We got a second hatch, which just takes quartz and titanium. We can build that from the inside because we've already got all those things. And, mm, yeah, I actually kind of wanted it over the wall. I kind of wanted it there, but I guess that this is actually also pretty good. Anyway, a single piece of titanium, and two of those aren't quartz. Oh no. Do we? We don't have any quartz. <laughs> That's annoying. That's very annoying. Well, no more of that, I guess. Actually, we, we got the... Uh, we got the... What's it called? We got. We have the this thing, and takes copper ore and magnetite to increase the range. Which means that what I'm going to do is no, I'm not going to. Don't need that. But I'm pretty sure that we have exactly three magnetite. Please have three magnetite. Or, or actually, we might only have two. We got four. So I'm going to take four. Take one. And we're going to make all the upgrades we need. Or not, actually, because we need one of those. So we're going to put this to find... Where is it? And there we go, those. And we're going to, into here, put one of these to make it a little bit faster. And the other two things that we can put in there are going to be... The, um, what are they called? The... Uh, range upgrades. I'm going to take a little break to get it to load up some copper limestone chunks. Yeah, so I've loaded up a few of these. I don't know if they stay if you go away and then reload the game. But this video, I did not realise how long it was. I seriously, this is the length of two videos. So I'm going to save and I guess what I'm going to do is ask you to like and subscribe as it really helps out small channel like this one. And I'm gonna quit. So, um, yeah.